Okay, so looks like we've got another boat problem today. Back to back. Last time, okay, we got to be very careful going in here. Oh, man. Oh, my. Okay, this is a compound problem. I see it now. I see it. So we got boats. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see from over here. We got boats last episode, and now they're filled to the brim. Thanks to this huge boat up above. Now, I was going to do some work in our shopping district today. We've got, I mean, Etho's coming. Oh, man, and Corrales is done. <laughs> we got to go take a look at that. We, I left those coupons at Etho, Etho's place last episode. So we got to get the shopping district ready for him. But this ain't ready. This is not ready at all. I would take it down right now, but I don't think Tango's seen it. And we need Tango to see it because I don't know if you know this, but Tango's rage is a valuable, valuable asset. So I got to leave this for him to see. But my goodness, this place, it is a nightmare now. Oh, my. Okay. We've got cleanup to do. Okay. It was a two-pronged attack. We should have seen it coming. But the mystery is solved. It was done by the Bodum crew. So, Tango did do a little something to retaliate. You can see that in his video. But uh, in the meantime, before he gets on to see this, uh, we'll work on... I have some other another project we can work on today. But let's take a look at this boat. There's so many details on this thing. This had to be crazy to build. This is interesting how these aren't connected either. It kind of actually from a distance gives like uh, a more stringy look to it. I think that's very cool. I don't want to touch any buttons with how we're being pranked around here and stuff. Too dangerous. I love this thing. Corrales did such a good job. Uh, how does it look from our place? I imagine it looks pretty cool. Let's see. Yeah, that's sick. I love it. So cool. Okay. Well, today what we're going to do to start, while we kind of wait to get things lit up and cleared out over there, uh, we're going to, I've noticed, uh, so Moss, <laughs> I am... The fuzzy, cozy, mo mossy time king. And I got, not, I don't have much moss. Like when I was making this, I wanted to get like some moss worked in here and stuff. And I was running out. And even in Fifi, our storage system, there's not a whole lot of moss there. For, so for our group, I want to make a way for us to get some moss. So we made this last episode, this beautiful farmhouse where we got our sheep stuff. And I think it looks very cool. It adds to the beautification of the whole place. I think it's very great. The sheep have still not escaped. Wonderful. But uh, now we're going to have the industrial district encroach on this just a little bit. So right here next to this building, we're going to have a moss thing. And it's going to kind of use the pretty stone. You know pretty stone that I invented? It's going to use that a little bit where the redstone will kind of be exposed in some places and turned into like machinery with the build style and stuff. I think it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to build that and I think it's going to be right here. Oh, I built this tree as well. I got other things to show you guys. Dead fire coral. It works out perfect for like a, a an older tree trunk kind of. So it's like an old tr tree trunk, old oak tree. With dead fire coral. Isn't that a nice looking thing? And then over here, I made this beauty. This little fish hut thing. Because this is where I usually I'll spawn over there if I die. And get sent back to the you know original spawn area. Come here and then pop up. But this also works for, I got all my fish stuff here. You know, in uh, coral and things like that. But look at this functionality. Watch this. Boop. Um. Um. 
Okay, actually, I did it wrong. Uh, I, I took some buckets out. Uh, I'll put them back in a second because I need them for the proper project. But you click here, boom. Always got a bucket. And then when, when you're done using the bucket, throw it, and it goes back in the system. It's perfect. Boop. I'll take a water bucket, please. And then boop. That's nice. Oh, but actually, it has to be empty. Empty buckets can go in. It's pretty cool. Easy peasy. I love it. And then we build a little lighthouse thingy. Just small, like light. Like this comes on at nighttime to show you where to go. I love it. But anyway, now beat up has got to make some mossy stuff. I got to make a moss, a moss creator. And it's going to be super efficient. You don't see anything that does anything. Piston. Okay, okay let me let me on. let me do one thing here. Here, let me give a clue. Let me give a clue. Okay. What is happening? This is only half of it. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see what's going on up there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Beat up. Why do you learn redstone? Legit. In my brain. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I watch. I watch. You know, you and Etho. And other oh, redstone so flattery, genius. So it's, it's osmosis. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll give you another clue here. Okay. <clears throat> there will be, I believe, pistons right here. Uh, uh, yeah. Or no, 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 here. Is this a moss machine? Yeah! Hey! You got it! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> My... Appreciation of your redstone skills has just been elevated. I'm impressed. That's what I'm talking about. Any monkey can do it now, apparently. <laughs> oh, very funny. Speaking of any monkey, did you uh, see yes. uh, what the Boda monkeys did? I, I did. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's a thing. Okay. That's not the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> we need we need a response. Is what I, kill, need. I, I, I killed you in, in, um, in Last Life. And uh -huh. you went crazy. <laughs> That's what I want to see. It's because I expected from them, and I didn't expect it from you. You didn't expect it from me. You right. okay? This is right. this is more like, of course, of course. Yes, I knew it. It's bottom. This is what they do. Yeah. I get it. Okay, okay. Not well, to say that our, our our payback should be anything short of devastating. We have to come up with something. Oh yeah, yeah. You're a genius at that. I mean, I, I can be the redstone guy. You can be the uh, payback I'll guy. I'll be the idea man now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just be the builder. You be the redstoner. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moss farm complete. It fills that space in real nice right there too, doesn't it? Oh, baby. Let's explain it from a distance. The distance view. Oh, ah! I wanted to be on that. Okay, this roof is fine. This is fine. So we have this building, this building, now this building, and this kind of wraps into the farm and then into our place. Perfect. Love it. So we have some chimneys blowing some smoke up top because you need some lava inside. So that's like lava exhaust vent. Uh, we needed a building. I do have, though, the pretty stone. What is pretty stone? We talked about it when we made Etho's perfect sugarcane farm. That one lent itself perfectly to being uh, exposed on the outside. Lots of redstone exposed on the outside. This one, we need a building here. And we've exposed some redstone on the outside, but most of it's exposed on the inside. The pretty part. So, let's go in. We've got a little bit of a scaffolding thing going up here. And then, oop, let's take this one down. Let's go in to the factory. There we go. So... Now we see it's all exposed and you can see everything real nice. It looks real cool. Some areas you can get in under for some maintenance, which I'm assuming we may need. We may need some maintenance here in a moment because usually after building these, there is a problem. But I'm perfect at redstone, so there will not be. We'll start, and I think in here somewhere we might make a bone meal converter uh, machine very simple you know but maybe like right here just a uh, hop a couple of hoppers and some uh what is that thing that makes a, you yeah good math all right so this is filled with some bone meal we'll put more in later but i think we're good to go how does it work there's a stone thing up here on the side these are stone generators here with water there, and then the pistons push out the stone once it's made, and these push pistons push the stone up. So it's up, out, 
and into this slab that will get converted into moss. This thing bone meals the moss, and boom, you get a big moss thing. When it gets squeezed, it breaks, and these hopper mine carts pick it up. There's also, I'll show you something else up top, but let's start it. Let's start the machine. Get ready for an explosion, and kablammo. Here we go. Now we've got 10 items in here. So every 10 items, it does a push. Anything flowing? You hear water flowing. We'll go upstairs and look at that in a second. You can see the lava. It makes stone right here when it's needed. Yes, wonderful. Had to turn the volume down a little bit there. It was getting pretty loud. All these hoppers, they're picking everything up. And I will look in this chest now for my profits. Yaha! We're doing it! This is, this is the most moss that we've ever had. Already in seconds. And that's using quite a bit of bone meal. But you get more bone meal from compost. Composter, that's it. From composting the moss than you would from making it. So it's a profit system. This could just be a bone meal machine for all I know. But isn't this cool? You see all these things moving around in here? I love it. It's a wonderful factory. Let's go up to the tippy top. So up on the roof, we can kind of maintain... Okay, every once in a while. All right, this is just... This is a B-dub special. So every once in a while, you'll get a... That was one. That was just one, I think. You'll get a one that just pops up here by accident. But this now is a machine too. Watch this happen. Yes. So this comes up and it sends a signal here. And it goes into a pulse lengthener that makes this piston go down and up to trigger this water to go out and back in. Oops, <laughs> one popped up. Out and back in at just the right amount of time. So you can see it all happening under the cage there. The water goes away, boom, bone meal, moss. Bone meal, moss, water, bone meal, moss. Break, water, bone meal, moss. It's all happening flawlessly, just as I planned. So I think this is pretty cool. I like this. Then we got these little chimneys here that uh, exhaust out the uh, heat from the lava. Of course, if it was all, you know, it all combust. Let's see how much we got in this short time. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> I am a perfect system maker. Wonderful. Now, Tango stopped by earlier and he said, oh, isn't this the exact same thing Etho made? I've, I've seen Ethos, but I didn't go into the guts. These are my guts, okay? I don't know if it's the exact same as his or not. Let's see what our final profit is. In just that short time, we got almost five stacks of moss. Hello. That's amazing. It's a very short time, and it only took up, well, a little under a stack. But now, let's just put all these in here. And those, down here, we will see bone meal. Those will make bone meal very, very efficiently. And then we can just use that to resupply. And eventually, once we get it full, we just start profiting moss like crazy. I think it's going to be wonderful. Is uh, This is an etho clock, okay, down here that makes it all go back and forth. You don't need to understand because I do. I understand. And then we get all these lovely things as a side benefit as well. I love it. Okay, so we're in the moss business. Fantastic. Bone meal being created perfectly. Wonderful. Okay, on to our next project. But before we do that, let's take a quick commercial break. Three, two, one. Uh, oh! <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes. Three, Three two, two, one. Yes. This is uh, a little game that we play every night. Best out of three, whoever uh, gets it the most times gets to wear the Raycons for the night. Tonight I win. Normally I win. Usually Nicole wins. And even when she doesn't win, I usually find her <laughs> wearing them. You've tried a lot of earbuds before, haven't you? I have. And would you believe that Raycon Everyday Earbuds are half the price of most premium brands? I would not believe that. <laughs> believe it. Would you also believe that there's a 45-day happiness guarantee? Too good to be true. It's true. Did you know that Raycons have a 32-hour battery life? I didn't know that. You didn't know that. I did. They also come with a bunch of rubber oil field gel tips and have a built-in microphone and 
have eight hours of playtime. Click on the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash bdubs to get exclusive deals and up to 20% off your Raycon order. Check out Raycon today. Can you smell me? <laughs> All right, so we've got to take care of this problem. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Ooh, we can see inside. Okay, look how dangerous it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's creepers everywhere. It's a mob farm. It's just a mob, mob farm. Like crazy. Before we start taking the mobs out, we have to get rid of the shadow. So, we got to get up here, and I'm hoping, I haven't, this is my first time up here, I'm hoping, this is the test right here, is this one thick? Okay, wait, what? Hold on, okay, it's two layers, it's two layers, um, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, so... Mob farm here, too. All the mobs, holy cow. Okay, it's two layers. That's not too bad. I think we can handle this. I just need... I'm, I'm not even going to tear the whole thing down quite yet. I think I'm just going to start poking some light holes like one, two, three, four. Four by fours and see what happens. Uh... Maybe TNT would be the best thing here. I'm not sure. Well, I'm actually having second thoughts now. <laughs> I was thinking TNT would be a good solution for clearing this out really fast. But there's a problem with that where if I get too close to the edge... It could, a TNT could chain and blow up over the edge and then go down potentially. I just don't want to risk it. I think there's a small chance. Most likely it would blow up before it hit the ground. But if it did go down to our shopping district, our beautiful area, then we lose it. Then it's all blown up. So <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to take a risk here. This is going, I just want to, I want to do this one and just see how out of control it gets. And at least maybe if I can kind of do the middle, it'll help a little bit. Okay, here we go. B-dubs and TNT. Let's see how it goes. Actually, that came, ah, there we go. Okay. That's pretty in control. Those straight lines like that, that's pretty in control. That's good. Okay, this will work, I think. For... <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. That'll probably do the trick. It's slower, but at least I, I'll know that I'm not blowing the place up. Man, man. Aha, uh -huh, much better. Huge improvement. Look at the let the light shine down on our beautiful city once again. Isn't it? We fixed it. <laughs> I mean, it, no real difference other than it's bright now. I just did, um, <laughs> I took, um, I took a different route. I started chopping and all that. This is literally hours and hours of chopping. A TNT might make it faster, but boy, it's a lot of chopping. So I just did little holes to let light through and we've got enough to where no more bad guys going to spawn, which is great. But now, a rare moment where b -Dubs has to put on his armor. And we're going to make sure that we're mob safe here. I don't think there's any value in keeping these mobs around. I don't think. They're just uh, in the way. And I'm not... I'm mainly going to target creepers first, obviously. But that was just going to be a process of... Hi! Oh, okay, okay, smart. Okay, lesson learned. Don't shoot the boat. If you shoot the boat, you might accidentally... Okay, there's a there's a guy in here somewhere. Okay, so this isn't perfectly safe yet. There's guys around. <laughs> so don't shoot the boat. It could set the creepers free. Okay, that skeleton's shooting at me. Yes, I'm also wanting to... 
save these boats. Because we're making a shop for Etho. It's going to be an Etho boat shop. Okay, little guy. Hey, hello? Hello? Who shoot? From where? Somebody shot me from behind. Up there? You? No, couldn't be. Okay, this is going to be a long, tedious process as well. But we got to do it. We got to get this place ready for Etho. Fifi, where you been? You're supposed to be protecting us. They're just sitting here doing nothing. Okay. We've got most of the mobs cleaned up. It's wonderful. Now, let's see. As a group, this is our group storage of place. One, two, three, four, five. Shulker boxes. Five? Let's take five. I've already filled one. We're going to sell to Etho. He loves boats so much. We'll get just five to get started, but we're going to break all these boats. This is wonderful stock. They didn't know what they were doing. Here we go. Perfect. Wonderful. I'll collect this. I'll collect this. The annoying part is they don't stack. So, um, and we're going to kind of mix them as well. They're going to be mixed and, but that's okay. We're just going to fill every, oh yes. Wonderful. Now also. Uh, I spoke with Corrales and he said, please be my guest and fill these buildings, these beauty buildings with shops. So we might take advantage of that. We might, cause there's already shops in place and these are so beautiful that maybe we use these like this could be the boat shop or this could be, or something like that. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to actually put all these down so I have as much inventory space as possible. I'm going to clear out everything and see how much stock we get. Now, isn't that a beautiful sight? Look at that. All cleaned up and looking pristine and perfect. I'm sure <laughs> I might leave that for Tango to explode or something. We got to change that. That's the last thing we got to do. Because we don't want Etho coming here and seeing that in the sky. Although these deals will keep him here as a customer for life, I'm sure. The most coveted shopper on the server. But anyway, I've, I've put all of the boats in these shulkers. We got 11 of them. 11 shulkers. Now, in one of these, and I'm not looking, I know that in one of these is one. There was only one acacia boat in all of this. So we're going to treat that as a rare item. I've renamed that boat as a 25% off coupon. Okay. So did I get them all? I got them all. Okay. If you get the rare Acacia boat, you get 25% off the entire city. All, all of the, the things. So I'm just going to put them in here. I'm not even looking. I'm just going to randomly put these in here. And then we got three back there perfect okay so what we will do is wait how am i going to trigger this aha button i've got a book here that kind of explains the process it's going to be because you get a shulker box full of boats plus wait let's make sure none of them say acacia on it do, oh this one says sand oh need that one okay do, is there any acacia Okay, you can't see it in any of those, so that's good. It's going to be five diamonds. You get the shulker and all the boats, so that's nice. Push the button, boom, shulker comes up, and that's the one you get. Wonderful. Okay, and then boom, a new one comes in. Wonderful. All right, let's refill this, and we're good to go. Good thing I didn't accidentally sell that sand. Now, I put another shop in. Mr. Booms. This is Boat City Boat Shop. Mr. Booms TNT shop. Oh, yes. And I'm kind of doing these quick and dirty because Etho could be coming by any time. I'll probably fill this up one more, but one diamond for 16 TNT. That's not bad. Ooh, I got to keep in mind he's got a 50% off coupon. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's got a lot of them, actually. Well, that's fine. That's maybe I'll raise the price. I don't know. I think we'll put more shops in, but. I need to do one more last thing. We've really cleaned the place up. I need to do actually two more things.
to make the place a little more welcome for our uh, honored guest. Oh, yes. Now that, imagine, imagine you're going shopping somewhere and they have a big sign with your name on it and big balloons with your head on it. Wouldn't that make you feel just special? And you got all these coupons and money that you can spend? Oh, ho, ho, ho. and it's beautiful and clean. And the street, was there something in there? There's a lot of item frames with missing items since the, since the bombing of the boating. But uh, I think this, I think I've replaced all the item frames. Hopefully, I've been looking. I think I got everything. But we're set. Over here, finally. I mean, this was uh, one diamond for 32 tough. I, 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 it, I didn't even have prices on this stuff. Bookshelves, bang. Ready to go. Let's leave the door open just for a peek. TNT, ready to go. We showed that. Boats, ready to go. We got to sell something else here. Tell me, guys, what, sh what else should we sell? Ladders? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? I mean, but we got lots of stuff. We've got all that moss, but... That could be valuable for the rest of the server. I know Ethos got infinite moss because he had the inferior uh, version of my moss machine. But I think we're ready to go. Maybe just a little bit more. We'll see. But I'm very happy with this. This is coming along very, very nice. Corrales had some ideas for some things to pop out there as well. I just spoke with Tango, though. And it doesn't take Tango very long. Tango's a very wise, smart man. And he has a retaliation idea for the boat prank. And we're going to do it. <laughs> I can't tell you what. It's a secret. But it's going to be fantastic. We got this perfect moss machine and we did the pretty stone style. Guys, I got so much moss today. I don't know if I'll ever have to. <laughs> I'm making a big factory. I might never have to turn it on ever again. Look at this. I mean, when I showed you before, I forgot to look in the top chest. There was more in the top chest than the bottom. We got all this, plus all this, plus all this. Goodness sakes. Nothing in that one. And then bone meal? We got more bone meal than we could ever dream of. It's unbelievable. Love it. So happy. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, th thank you for to eat. Ta. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Hermitcraft. I love you to death. And we'll see you in the next episode